As users and administrators enter your workspace, you may choose to present them with some kind of confidentiality agreement, non-disclosure, or just a simple reminder letting them know that the information they're about to review is confidential and can't be distributed. It could be a fairly formal document similar to this, or it could, as I said, just be a simple reminder of the content that they're about to review and its confidentiality. As we click into the workspace, we'll go directly into the overview tab. Once we upload the disclosure document, your users and administrators would be presented with it before arriving on this page. Now we'll go into our settings tab to upload the document. First though, we'll look at the last checkbox in this list. In a prior video, under the general tab, we talked about this requiring a digital signature on that document the first time that the person sees it. This means they have to key in their name, which gets burnt onto the document, and it will remain hosted on CapLinked as long as you have your workspace open. We'll go into our Manage Disclaimers tab to upload the document itself. So here, we obviously have none showing at this moment, and I can click the New Disclaimer button. It opens up a window, which we've seen in other videos, which allows us to upload documents. Now, I'll go into this folder I have, and I will take the demo disclaimer sample, simply drag it, and drop it. Okay, that's uploaded already. So this is the document that users will see as they come into the workspace. Now, if I check this box, it means that they'll have to see and acknowledge it every time they enter the workspace. If you don't check this, they'll only see it on the first occasion. They'll have to put their signature on it if you've selected for them to do so, and then they'll never see it again. In this case, I'll check the box so that the, they do have to see it and acknowledge it on every instance of entering the workspace. So at this point, I'll log out of the platform and come back in so we can see what it looks like. I've logged out of my CapLinked account and logged back in again, and now we're presented with our dashboard and Project Big Company workspace. As I click into this, we'll be presented with the disclaimer document that we've just uploaded. So here it is. Now as we scroll to the bottom, we can see that I have to type my full name here to accept the terms. And I have to type it exactly as it is in the system, Alan Admin. I agree, submit, and now I've entered the workspace. So again, because in our settings tab, we set it so that people see this on every occasion that they enter the workspace, they will do so now. They won't have to put their signature onto it every time, only acknowledge and submit. So that's how you upload disclaimer documents and present them to the users and administrators before the end of the workspace.